Imogen for Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with the cast and director of Where the White Stops. Hi guys, how are we doing? Good. Did I get the title right? Yes. Yes, yes. okay, good. You just had a look on your face. I was like, oh no. <laughs> how, how are we all doing? It's quite early on in the fringe, but how's your show going? Yeah, it's going well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's really good. good. Yeah, so it's just good to see, just settling in now. Mm -hmm. so a few days in. Yeah, the audience is picking up, so yeah, it's good. Have you had to make um, any changes so far? Or did you come up with the polished show completely ready? Um, we had, it was sort of a rocky process because it's a devised piece, mm -hmm. um, so we had quite a few, we did a preview at uh, Battersea Art Centre uh, a week before we came up, so we had some feedback from that and then yeah. made quite a few changes. Did yeah. you find the preview really helpful before you came up to the Friends? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was fantastic, especially with a piece like this, like uh, with the nature of the piece, like Richard said, it's devised, so it's really important that we show it as much as possible and get feedback as much as possible. Yeah. Um, just so that we can make those changes just to make it a little bit clearer or just improve the show in general. Yeah, the preview was half an hour long, half an hour longer than it should be. Oh, so <laughs> there's a lot of cutting that week. <laughs> it's better to have to cut than make stuff up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, your show, can you tell us a little bit about it? <laughs> um, Anyone? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Go on. Um, okay, so it's basically um, about a girl called Crab. Um, it's set in this like mythical land that we've created called the White, and um, it's about this golden crab who's like in her village and she wants to get out, and um, she goes out exploring into this like mythical land, and meets some people along the way. It's about like her tragic obsession. She has this obsession with like finding uh, something else and finding stuff that's like different to her village. Yeah. I'm gonna get pretty deep here, but what does the White signify? Does it signify something or? It kind of, yeah, it kind of just, for us, it just kind of simplifies life in yeah. general. And um, the show has a lot of, quite a lot of modern parallels to like our lives as well as um, hopefully other people's. So hopefully people yeah, will be able to identify with it. Although it's set in this land that we've totally created, but I uh, don't know. So, yeah. so you wear quite heavy costumes, don't you? What's that like every day? <laughs> it's actually. Um, it's actually not too bad in comparison to the BAC when we did the previews. I think it was just one of those ridiculously hot days in London. It was like 28 degrees and we were doing the show that was in an hour and a half with uh, these blistering lights on. So we were pretty dehydrated for those couple of days. But yeah, Dan almost fainted. A little bit. <laughs> but um, the, uh, the space we're actually in is pretty good because, because it's the underbelly, big belly. Um, it's quite, it's basically a cave, so it's quite cool, um, it's quite, like, um, air conditioned. Yeah, so yeah. we're it's really lucky, cool. we don't sweat too much. Um, although I, I still sweat, it's <laughs> <laughs> not, I know, uncomfortable or not, yeah. that's last time. So you're quite a young company and you've already had loads of success, how does that feel coming to the fridge and we had a sellout show and um, being supported by Ideas Tap? Yeah, it's really nice. Like we came up to Edinburgh last year um, with two shows, Marine Light in '68 and This Way Up, and um, yeah, we got some really nice press from from it and stuff. And now we're here with a lot of like support, which is just feels really lovely. And they're all great uh, ideas to happen under them. They've been really, really lovely to us. So, yeah. Is it a different experience from last year? Do you think? Yeah, it's very different, just in the sense that um, we're not a uh, well. We're not in two shows for a start, so we're uh, less exhausted. Um, and it's really nice to just be able to focus on one show and just like the support we get from Ideas Tap and Underbelly and we've got a producer now, Francesca. Mm. So we just feel I think just a lot more um, less uh, stressed. Yeah, dying <laughs> dying. We're not dying as much, so yeah. That's yeah, nice. so So how did you form your theatre company? Uh, it was the we all graduated the same year last year, um, at East 15 on the, like the contemporary theatre course. Mm -hmm. So it was just literally after um, we made both the shows this way up in Maria, 1968, and it was through taking those two shows up to here last year that it seemed to make sense that we go as a company instead of going as two sort of different groups. So it sort of it started from there, and it was originally we it was full NAS jazz. Me and Rich, and then um, and then Dan got on board um, last year at the same time as well, because he was also in this way up. So then we were like, yeah, let's make it. 
So after that Edinburgh, you're hoping to stick together and keep making shows. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, got big plans for the future? Mm. Massive. <laughs> 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 really big. We're take better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've got plans. We've got plans. Uh, not, not sure what they are. Yes. <laughs> but they're there. They're, they're there. there. They're, they're there. They're flying around. So, <laughs> so what are you most looking forward to at Fringe? In terms of, are you going to see loads of shows? Just going out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely seeing loads of shows. Um, like just getting our underbelly passes me as we get to see all the great shows. Yeah, underbelly such a really which is great. Um, and we've got a lot of friends up here as well who are also from East 15. Um, Boneyard, Alchemist, uh, Lost Watch, um, Snuff Fox, some of Snuff Fox here with Bitch Boxer, um, Who Have I Missed, Caligula. guys, Caligula's Alibi. Uh, yeah, so there's a really nice East 15 uh, network here. Wicked. So. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Um, where can we catch your show? <laughs> it's on at the uh, Underbelly Cowgate Big Belly, um, 2.40. Wicked. Thank you so much for talking to me. Sure. I've been Imogen for Waffle TV.